Hello, it's me, and I have a viewer question. This one comes from Bailey Gray, who had this kind of a dilemma. You can see from his picture, he's got an AI cube, an AI puzzle, and he's got it down to these last three centerpieces that have to be rotated in a, in a counterclockwise manner. This to here, this to here, this to here. So the color scheme that I have is different from the color scheme that he has, but I set it up with exactly the same kind of a dilemma. So how do you get out of this? Well, I figured this was a good opportunity to show a general strategy that I have in doing AI puzzles like this. Uh, now, the thing about this kind of an AI puzzle is you have some equivalences of some centers. So this is really the same as this. This is the same as this. So there is a certain degree of play that you can have with this, but you're not gonna find that with all types of AI puzzles. So I'm gonna show you a way to get out of this with any type of AI puzzle where you don't have equivalencies of centers. So we'll move this into AI position. So basically, it might seem like there's a lot of movement in this, but it's really just a fairly simple commutator. Um, it's really just a matter of doing U moves and then rotating these two by two by two corners in either clockwise or counterclockwise way. But what this algorithm is gonna do is it's gonna take this, move it to here, move this to here, and move this to here. And that's what it's gonna do. So in that way, we're gonna to start to get these in. So what I would recommend is to first start off with a situation where we take a red one, in my case anyway, and put that to here, this blue will come to here, and this white will end up over here. But I'm gonna to wanna to move a red one, in my case a red one, to here. So um, now in your case, it might be something like a, a green one. So I'm gonna take this, move it to here, just doing a corner swap. To R, U, to R, U, I, to R, Turn the puzzle here, to R, U, I, to R, U, to R. I assume you know how to do that. Okay, so here's something to realize. If I wanna do a clock, uh, a counterclockwise rotation, then I'm gonna do R, I, D, A, R, D two times. Because by doing it two times, the first time will bring this down here, the second time will move it up here, but in a counterclockwise way. If I wanna move it clockwise, then I'm gonna do R, I, D, A, R, D four times. So that's what I'm going to say from now on. If I want to move this counterclockwise, that's going to be an R-I-D-I-R-D two times. Clockwise is going to be R-I-D-I-R-D four times. So if I want to move this to here, that's going to be a counterclockwise way. So it's going to be R-I-D-I-R-D, R-I-D-I-R-D. So as you can see, two times moves it into this direction. So I'm going to describe what the algorithm is. It's really not that bad, and it goes pretty simple if you just kind of keep it straight in your head. What's going to happen is first you're going to rotate this clockwise, so that's four R-I-D-I-R-Ds. Then you're going to do a U-move and move this like that. Then you're going to take this and move this counterclockwise, that's R-I-D-A-R-D. Now bear in mind, when I say R-I-D-A-R-D, to move this counterclockwise, I'm gonna actually move it over to here so that this is on the right. And then you can move it back when you're done. You just wanna put whichever one you're moving um, on the right side. So once again, starting off, this will be clockwise, then do a U-move, move it over here. This will be counterclockwise, then do a U-I. This is then gonna move clockwise, then do a U-I then this is gonna move counterclockwise and do a U. So in that way, in true commutator form, you're just reversing what you did. Clockwise, U, counterclockwise, UI. Clockwise, UI, counterclockwise, U. And that's most of the way there. After you do that, you're gonna simply do a clockwise rotation with this, do a UI, clockwise rotation with this, and do a U. So once again, clockwise, U, counterclockwise, UI clockwise UI, counterclockwise U. Then clockwise U, clockwise UI, and that's it. So the movement is just gonna follow suit with that, and you're gonna see that that'll move these into position. So put it in a, in a position where this will slide to here, and the correct color will come from here. So start off with clockwise, R-I-D-I-R-D, 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 R-I-D-I-R-D. That's my clockwise move. Then we do a U. Now this is gonna go counterclockwise, so move this to the right side. R-I-D-A-R-D, R-I-D-A-R-D. And that's it, just move it twice. Then move it back with a UI. Now we're gonna keep this here because we're gonna still move this one. We're now gonna move this one clockwise. So that's four R-I-D-A-R-Ds. R-I-D-A-R-D, 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 R-I-D-A-R-D. Then do a UI, moving this back to the right side. 
do a counterclockwise, R I D A R D, R I D A R D, then do a U, then bang. Now we're going to move this clockwise, R I D A R D, R I D A R D, R I D A R D, R I D A R D. Now we do a U I. Move this clockwise again and then move it back. R I D A R D, R I D A R D. Once more, R I D A R D, and then move it back. Okay, so now this is not going to be in the position that you started with, but it did actually move that around. To get it back to the position that you started with, you just move this counterclockwise and this one clockwise, right? Because that'll put this back to here. So actually, what happened is this went to here. This went to here, and this did come to here. So it's not going to be back in the starting position, but, but that's fine. What you're going to want to do next is you're going to take this, move this back to the starting position. So that's going to be a counterclockwise rotation. R I D A R D. R I D A R D. So that's over to here. So you're going to want to put this in a situation where this is going to come here, this will come here, and this red will come back to here. So that's going to be a clockwise rotation. So basically, we're going to get this close uh, uh, back to the starting position. So clockwise rotation, R I D A R D, R I D A R D, and again, R I D A R D. Okay, so you've got these opposite each other here now. This white will come here and be in. This red will come here and be in. This red will come here and be in. So um, in that way, that will solve this. So let's go through that very quickly again. Clockwise, R-I-D-A-R-D, 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 R-I-D-A-R-D. Do a U. Counterclockwise, R-I-D-A-R-D, R-I-D-A-R-D. Move it back. Bang. Now this one clockwise, R-I-D, R-I-D-A-R-D, 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 U-I. This goes back to the right side, and now counterclockwise. R-I-D-A-R-D, R-I-D-A-R-D, and splat. Now this one goes clockwise, R-I-D-A-R-D, 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 R-I-D-A-R-D. Do a U-I, clockwise again. R-I-D-A-R-D, 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 and then move it back with a U, and it's done. All these are in, and all you have left to do now is a simple two by two solve. So in, two, in true two by two solve fashion, we'll simply get these in. I'm not gonna go through how to solve a two by two. I've got to assume you know how to do that. Otherwise you would not have tackled this puzzle at all. Move this into here. We'll move this guy up. I remind you, I am not a speed solver. As you can see, nor do I think this is a speed puzzle, but there it is. Okay, so in that way, we got our uh, configuration back again. Now, the importance of this algorithm is it doesn't matter what kind of an AI puzzle that you have. You can solve it using that algorithm every time, and if you have a similarly bandaged puzzle, that will serve you well. So, hope that helps. Keep the questions coming, and thanks for watching.